When you look at the vastness of the universe and its planets, stars and galaxies, a key question comes to mind. Explanation. Why something exists? Something to pay for? This puzzle deepens when we consider the symmetry of the laws of physics that govern our universe. These laws seem to work in the same way as matter and antimatter, but upon observation it turns out that the stars and galaxies we see are mostly matter and very little antimatter. This gives us an idea of the complex forces that create symmetry and the emergence of the universe as we understand it. What deep processes disturb the balance and give us a world full of galaxies, stars, and the mystery of our own existence? How did this incredible universe come about? For centuries, scientists have believed that the universe is eternal and immovable, governed by the immutable laws of matter. But in 1927, a Belgian priest and scientist named Georges Lemaitre gave us a different idea. He proposed that the universe began as a large primordial atom that exploded to give birth to the smaller atoms we see today. Although Lemaitre thought it was small at first, the astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered in 1929 that the universe does not exist but is very large. This revelation has led some scientists to wonder if we could rewrite Earth's history and shrink into a smaller, denser space. The concept was called the Big Bang Theory by astronomer Fred Hoyle, a name adopted by its supporters later. Undeterred by skeptics, scientists Ralph Alpher, George Gamow, and Robert Herman claim that if the Big Bang had occurred, the universe would have exploded. In the mid-1960s, astronomers Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson stumbled upon this microwave background radiation, echoes of the Big Bang, while trying to decipher the signals. Microwaves from the Milky Way. If the Big Bang theory is true, how did the planets, stars, and galaxies form? Through calculations and careful observations from ground-based telescopes and space probes, we come up with our best explanation. About 13.8 billion years ago, all matter in the universe exploded from a very small explosion. This expansion occurred at an astonishing rate, doubling in size every 10 to minus 34. Secondly, creating space as it increases rapidly. In a fraction of a second, energy and other fundamental forces appear, and energy is transformed into particles of matter and antimatter, most of which annihilate each other. Fortunately, some matter survived, and in the next second protons and neutrons were created. Soon after, these particles began to fuse together to form hydrogen and helium nuclei. About 300,000 years later, atoms began to form nuclei that attracted electrons, filling the universe with clouds of hydrogen and helium gas. About 380,000 years after the first explosion, the planet left behind a remnant glow, the microwave background radiation, that Pensius and Wilson clearly detected. In this radiation, small variations of matter spread to cosmic scales during the acceleration process, eventually becoming the seeds for the formation of known galaxies and galaxy clusters. What we do these days. Today, as we look at the vastness of the world, our general visions always point to a common narrative, regardless of its uncertainties. Our universe is made up of matter and follows different laws of physics through space and time. It works under the umbrella of general relativity, expansion, cooling, and gravity, and its dynamics are influenced by dark energy and dark matter, supplemented by ordinary matter, neutrinos, and radiation. In this universe we find a collection of galaxies, stars, planets, heavy elements, and even intelligent life in one corner. These world structures did not have a beginning but emerged from the process of world evolution. A remarkable feat of scientific thought achieved in the 20th century, scientists have reconstructed a timeline showing how our universe evolved from a uniform, non-complex structure consisting of hydrogen and mostly helium to the diverse and complex world we see. Today, stepping back from the present moment, we are faced with the question. How did each structure or component look like? We delve into the origins of each element many times, delving deeper until we reach the limits of our understanding. But even in this emptiness, we think about the origin of our existence. Does everything we see come from nothing? Life as we know it comes from the tiny particles that make up the fabric of our being. These particles are assembled into complex molecules, the building blocks of life made up of smaller units called atoms. However, atoms did not appear out of nothing at the beginning of the universe. However, they went through a long construction process. This action takes place in the cosmic drama of the life cycle of the stars. Stars are born, 
spend their celestial life and finally die, and new wealth is born through evil deeds. These materials fuel the birth of the next generation of stars and continue the cosmic cycle. This complex interaction maintains the conditions necessary for the emergence of planets and the complex matter necessary for life. In order for the world to come to its current state, several key events had to happen. Gravity regulates the formation of constellations and galaxies, requiring initial mass that gravitational forces can transform into larger structures. Dark matter is important in preventing the dispersion of matter in the early stages of the universe's formation. In addition, a balance between different types of matter and radiation is necessary to produce space objects, such as the microwave background and early stages of galaxies. At the center of this story is the mystery of the symmetry between matter and antimatter. In the primordial cocoon of the early universe, matter and antimatter must have been the same, but our universe is made up of matter. Many hypotheses attempt to explain this difference, including situations in which standard physical laws are temporarily violated providing favorable conditions for chemical formation. These include the concept of CP violation interactions within the framework of the standard model of particle physics. When we think about the origin of our universe, we are faced with a profound mystery. Did the universe come from nothing? As uncertainty persists, our search for clarity uncovers the evolutionary landscape of the universe, delving into the depths of our existence. Sadness, despite its complexity, is essential to understanding the world. Although it cannot be created from the particles described in the standard model of physics, there are several theories that suggest its origin. It probably originated in the beginnings of the global warming phase and continued through the ages. In addition, it may have occurred during phase transition as the world expanded and cooled. Other theories suggest that a new type of neutrino or due to gravity could produce a heavier particle. The question arises, why does the dark exist today when the previous world did without the world? The production of dark matter requires a lot of energy, and that's why we're investigating the source. It's interesting that it comes from inflation, our main theory of the origin of the universe before the Big Bang. According to global inflation before the Great Depression, the world went through a period of rapid expansion due to the massive amount of global energy. When the explosion stopped, this energy accelerated the creation of matter, antimatter, and radiation setting the stage for the further development of the universe. Interestingly, inflation predicts some patterns of density change that match observations and provide strong support for its validity. But although the rise of the world provides a framework for understanding the birth of the world, it calls for speculation. Can we truly understand a phenomenon without space, time, and the laws of physics? From a philosophical point of view, we can think of emptiness as the absence of these elements, but from a scientific point of view, determining emptiness can be a difficult task. Scientifically, we can define nothing in many ways. A time of nothingness, an empty space with little energy, or the absence of the world and its administrative law. Although some interpretations may suggest that the world comes from nothing, there are some problems. The concept of nothingness without spatial or physical laws challenges understanding in the world of physics. The ability for space to emerge from nothingness raises profound questions. How can space and time emerge from such a state that there is no definition of space or duration? The puzzle deepens when we consider the origins of the laws that govern the world. Without a clear framework to describe life outside of our world, the word is meaningless. Finally, although scientific theories reveal the origins of the universe, they also expand the limits of our understanding. The quest to uncover the mysteries of the universe continues, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and perception. Quantum theory opens up amazing possibilities for the origin of fields and particles and challenges the concepts of eternity in the laws of space and physics. Although some claim that the universe originated from nothingness, we are less certain about our origins as we move beyond the physical boundaries. Many scientists think the universe came from nothing, based on quantum theory. It turns to the theory that quantum fluctuations can spontaneously create a universe from Nihilo's ground. However, without mathematical reasoning, the idea remained a mystery until recent developments. Dongshan Han and his team from Wuhan's Institute of Physics and Mathematics have made significant progress by providing the first mathematical proof that the Big Bang came from differences in size. The axis of their development is the Wheeler-Dwight equation and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The Wheeler-Devitt equation, the cornerstone of quantum mechanics, 
incorporates quantum mechanics and general relativity, although it is not time-sensitive. Meanwhile, Eisenberg's indeterminacy principle states that the position and velocity of a particle cannot be determined accurately and emphasizes the uncertainty of the properties of its size. Together, these principles form the basis for exploring the origins of life. He and his colleagues proposed an innovative planetary model in which time arose suddenly due to changes in the size of the universe rather than classical evolution. These differences create a non-zero probability that the world will come out of nothing. Their model predicts the transition from quantum inertia to the classical universe through the decay of the quantum wave function and provides a powerful mathematical framework for how the universe suddenly appeared. In quantum differences, this groundbreaking work adds to the hypothesis that our universe arose from a vacuum and supports the idea that something can come from nothing in the quantum world. Although more research is needed to understand the mechanisms behind this process, his team's contribution is an important step towards solving this age-old question about the nature of life.